to me. I'm coming for you, my love. All right. Welcome back to another Nier Automata. Last time we left off, we had finished Route A, which left us thinking things for the worst. But it had a happy ending. But the game suggests that there's six more endings, seven in total, if I'm like, recalling this correctly. And the interesting thing about this is now that the game has multiple endings, the way it made it sound, and I, I don't entirely understand, but I did get some advice from somebody, is that the game now continues along a different path. You know, I thought it would be like the whole game started over again, and you guys would have to watch me play through everything again just to see the endings, in which case I wouldn't have that, you know, because you guys probably wouldn't want to rewatch the entire game, no matter how awesome the game is. It's like, if you've seen it, it's good. But supposedly, the way this game does it is rather unique. You're going to be seeing the game from a rather different perspective. And... I don't know. I know a few of you guys really wanted to see more, and I was actually kind of surprised, because for the longest time, I didn't think anybody was actually watching the Nier, like, Nier Automata series. Well, at least not my playthrough of it. Um, I was going to play through the game regardless, because I absolutely love the game, but... When people tell me, hey, I want to see more of this, I'm like, well, hell yeah. I mean, I love sharing something that I love with other people, and if they love it as much as I do, I'm like, why would I deny them this? You know? I'm not going to play a game I hate just to please people, of course. You know, I know there are people that pander like that, but the way I'm, like, thinking about it is more of a, if it's something I already love, I'm going to play it regardless. But if you guys want to see it, you know, that really helps me know what you guys want to see more of, because I like sharing things that I enjoy with others, because I have a good group of friends, but none of them enjoy the same types of games that I do, and so it leaves me with very few people to talk about the things that I've seen. The way I kind of portrayed it to people at times is it's like seeing a really good movie that nobody's seen, and you want to talk about it, but nobody knows what you're talking about. And you're just kind of sitting there, like, after you read a good book or, or watch a good movie, and you just sit there kind of dead inside because you're like, I want to share this with someone. Love this. And you, I, like, I just picture, like, a cartoon character keep hitting somebody in the face with a book, like, why won't you love this? <laughs> love the things I love. Enjoy this. But... Without further ado, and enough rambling, I'm sorry. We're gonna jump back into the action and see what this game has to offer. Oh? supposed to do um well you know what maybe we're like wally we'll, we'll do big things mm, can't go up there huh we can't run very fast but man can we jump look at this we oh god watch us get killed by freaking tubi or something oh oil I mean, I don't want to break your hopes and dreams, bud, but I don't think that's true. I mean, but then again, I mean, what do I know? We need a container. Are these pipes or buckets? Ooh, it's a bucket. Okay. Ah, uh, bucket. Haha, <laughs> we're awesome. It's so cute. Can we jump like this? Oh my god, we can. We're a kangaroo! <laughs> Alright, alright. We need the lifeblood that is oil. I hope you're right. Alright. Oh, 
on the road again. Hopping down to... Oh no! I guess we can't jump with it? Or we'll, we'll end up spilling it, maybe? Or can we... Hmm... I don't know. Maybe it's because we tripped over something? I'm not sure. Let's, let's just... God, it's going to take us forever to walk there, if that's the case, though. Let me see if I can jump with it. Fuck. Do not trip. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Shuffle faster, damn you. Okay, um. Brother. Brother. Aww. Brother, we're coming, bud. We got the life, we got the life source, the magical voodoo. I promise we will get you back on your feet. I mean, with all these damn parts here, we should be able to put you... We should be able to put you back together, right? Just a little more. I got you. You know, this looks a lot like where we started out the game. Doesn't matter how much oil you give him, little guy. You can't make a machine your brother. Aww. Well, we found 9S. Looks like it's time. Time? Oh, I see. Okay. There's 9S, and basically this would be where 2B would come in, right? to Unit 9S. Come in, 9S. 9S here. Go ahead. The Yorha troops have commenced their descent. Disable the enemy base's defense systems immediately. Roger that. Um. Oh. Oh, we're playing as 9S. Right. All right. Cool. Um. Uh, hmm. I see collectibles. Ooh. Now we fix this by slashing it to death, right? No. All right. Fine. Guess we'll do it the boring way. I was hoping we'd like, you know, cut in the little pieces and all, but. Alert. Proceed with mission uh -oh. operations immediately. Whoa. Alert. Proceed with mission operations immediately. Yes, I hear you, but what does that mean? Oh. Oh, okay. Eh. One going down. Whee! Alert. Um, Defense systems cannot be reached from the ground. Oh shit. Uh, do we need you? We do, alright. Transformers, robots, and... I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, where are the... Where are we going? All right. Ah! It's been a while since we've been in this situation. Oh. This is actually pretty neat. I don't think we ever went down before, really, in fighting. Not in the plane mode, anyway. Mm -hmm. Question is, where are we going? I, I figured 9S came, or not 9S, 2B came to us before, didn't she? What are we doing? Oh? We'll need you to take down the enemy's defense systems to give our attack squadron a chance. You have four targets that need to be hacked. Be advised that hostiles have been detected around each target and must be defeated before continuing. Uh. Ah! No! Oh shit! Eh, snap! I was not expecting this. No! Good lord! 
Ah! Oh, God, I have like no health left. Take him down! Oh, I wonder what happens if we get close. Well, that's definitely what happens when you get close. <laughs> I noticed it said, like, press Y when you get close, I guess. Maybe this will be like a finisher move. There are four targets that need to be hacked. Be advised that hostiles have been detected around each target and must be defeated before continuing. Fair enough. I want to see what happens if I press Y on one of these. Holy mother of God. I know it's probably more dangerous to get close, but I want to see what happens. Really? Wouldn't it be easier just to destroy it? Okay, so fighting's not my thing. Oh, okay. So we can hack objectives rather than actually destroying them because he's more of a data unit than he is on a, like a fighting unit. All right, that makes sense. To be honest though, hacking each one of these individually is gonna probably be more difficult than me just murdering them. The target is now accessible. Yeah, yeah. One affirmation will suffice. Fine. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, I see. We can only break the black. Okay. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Sweet. Proceed to the next target. Oop. <laughs> this is really cool. I wasn't really expecting the game to be this different already, like just starting out. Oh, shit. Hello, friend. <laughs> I feel bad for the little robot, though. He's like, brother, I can save you with nothing more than oil. Ninus is just sitting there like, can't save him, little guy. Like, ah, and so we're back at the beginnings where they don't really seem to feel feelings the same. I mean, yeah, they were still androids at the very end, but you saw, you saw 2B crying. They were clearly different. There's still a lot of questions I have, though, that haven't been answered. And I brought up some of them at the end of the last playthrough, so I'm not going to repeat them, but... Even so, at some point, I'll, I'll probably bring them up to some degree. Okay, can we hack into this one? We can, alright. Sorry if this isn't the most interesting episode starting out. We have really not even broke the surface yet. It's going to be a lot of murder grinding by the looks of it, which is perfectly okay for me, but I don't know how interesting that is going to be to watch. Hacking complete. Two targets remain. All right. I don't know why, but this game, like, right now, at least, kind of reminds me of Star Wars a bit, like an older version. I can't remember which one, but it's one where you have to, like, pilot the Millennium Falcon. I'm not real familiar with uh, Star Wars, you know, lore or the history or anything, so don't quote me, but uh, in that particular game, you, like, fly through a bunch of corridors. It kind of remind me of this. I think it was from the Death Star, but I don't really remember... Kind of reminds me of the Death Star a bit, though. You know, if it was in like a steampunky kind of future with robots. <laughs> Take him down! I'll even give him a chance to fight back. Take him out quickly. All right, hack it, hack it good. We have like one more after this, I think. I love how this is like a, like, grind through, like, puzzle fest right here. Ah! Alright. 
one target remains. One more, eh? This is a real pain. May I I'd remind say. you that personal chatter during operations is restricted? Fine. They did a really good job though painting the the characters of both 2B and 9S. That's the character development's so good. It makes you actually care about them and what'll happen to them and their story and everything. Gotta say, people of this game did such a great job. This is the kind of innovation and beauty I want out of video games, to be honest. How many games do the bare minimum because they know their fan base will eat it up regardless? And, you know, I don't, I don't like saying this because it sounds kind of, I don't know if you want to call it ignorant or arrogant or what, but I think the fact that gamers kind of allow companies to get away with this by buying something that's kind of underwhelming is why they keep doing it, is because if you're willing to buy it, they're going to keep putting out the bare minimum. But then there's games like this that go the extra mile, and these are the people I feel like you should give their business to, you know? People that you should spend your money on their games, because they actually care about their community. Now, that may not always be... Hacking of enemy defense system complete. Our attack squadron can now infiltrate the base. You are to continue providing support by whatever means available. Because when a lot of games get big, they tend to kind of go back on that kind of stuff, you know, especially when it's like predecessors, like if they made a Nier Automata 2 or 3 or 4. Like, it's it's good to let things die when they're in their prime and move on to the next, you know, major project. Now, I'm not saying that I would be disappointed if they made a Nier Automata 2, but if it didn't live up to 1, I would say, you know, just try making a new game with a different concept rather than milking the same idea. That's just the way I look at it, you know? I'd rather see something I love die when it's still good than it die in a cesspool of just, you know, repeats. I mean, this game's already a masterpiece. And if it has six more endings that are anywhere near as good as the first one, I can't complain. The However, there is only one unit remaining. Oof, must have been rough out there. The enemy's defensive weapon is making things more difficult than we estimated. That's so. Whee! Uh, I really didn't utilize the plug-in chips and everything the first go around, so I'm gonna try to use them more this playthrough if I can. I don't know exactly if I'll still be able to do the same sort of stuff, considering I'm seemingly playing through uh, 9S's perspective now, but uh, we'll see. And if any of you have played, you know, you can give me uh, advice as I'm going along on stuff that maybe I'm missing out on if you've already played it or you know anything about it. But if you don't, you can just, you know, sit along for the ride and enjoy the show. Watching me get my ass kicked around the screen. <laughs> Alright. Whoa. I remember you. That thing. Firing missiles. Take them down. Ow. <laughs> hey, 2B. What's up? <laughs> uh, we're gonna go out for coffee now, right? Yeah, you know you'd love the 9S. <laughs> Better make sure he's actually dead next time. That was dangerous, man. That smug You're smile, 2B, though. Right? <laughs> My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. Copy that. Man, so, so stiff. was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh, I guess we have to find the target then, huh? I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the perimeter. All right, I'll work my way inside from the ground. This is really neat, getting to see the game from uh, Inessa's perspective. What is it? I was going to send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. <laughs> I love how he calls him ma'am. You know, ma'am? Or her. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. And Oops. another thing. Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. 
Alright then. To be it is. Ooh la la. You, you sure you don't want to call me nines? Come on, you know you want to. You get a second chance at love to be. Ah! Oh dear God! Ah! No! Oh dear God, they hurt. Alright, alright. Chill. Oh. Alright. This place sure is big. I guess humans used to use it as a weapons factory. Oh, shit. But now it's just crawling with machines. The enemy seems to have repurposed the facility to increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. But you know, that's the thing, they say, the enemy. Ooh, Adam and Eve? Like, I, I feel like there's more to all this. What? It's just accessing random, nonsensical data from the old world. There's no actual meaning behind anything machines do. Uh, see, you say that, but I don't necessarily buy that. Hmm. You can hear, like, human talking. Another good day at work. Oh, dear God, that almost got me. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, they say, you know, the enemy is making more machines, but I think to myself, well, we, we know the aliens are no longer around. So the only people that I can think of that fit that bill would be Adam and Eve, which... I mean, it didn't look like they were making more machines. It didn't even look like they cared about the machines other than using them to, you know, fight and stuff. To help make more androids. And then there's the one android that got crushed, if you remember, by a boulder from the first playthrough. Like, who was he? Just a random person? There's so many things that make me just kind of question. You know? Like, I knew I said I, said I wasn't going to talk about it, but I, I'm, I'm sitting here just pondering it while I'm endlessly grinding through this stuff. Like, the, um, the robot king, the forest king or whatever, the, like, baby that got stabbed by, I swear, it looked like 2B's twin. I surveyed the entire factory, but couldn't find anything resembling our... Fuck, I thought it was going into a cutscene. <laughs> Alright. I surveyed the entire factory, but couldn't find anything resembling our target. Maybe they... I don't know, moved it somewhere? Hmm... Is that...? You mean, the birds? Yeah, there's more plants and animals here than there used to be. Probably because the environment's changed. There should be another facility across that bridge. It's a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? It's not like Command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? Oh. <sighs> I wouldn't bet on that. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm gonna die. I mustn't die here. Oh, man. I got places to be. I can't lose here. Ah! No! Oh my God! Oh my God! How much do I have? Oh my God! Oh shit! Oh my God! Oh. oh. What's going on? She appears to be engaging the target enemy. We have to help her. Let's go! I don't know. We're like one-shottable at this point. Thank God that's over, though. To me! I'm coming for you, my love! Oh, okay. Cool, so we're skipping ahead to here. 
we have to fight you again, or? What's your status? This is the target. Oh, we do. Okay. Uh, oh God! Look at my health. I'll provide support. Dude, I have no health for this. Complete. Software vulnerabilities and penetration. Oh God! Tell me I have like some health or something. Oh my God, I do. Detective, oh yes. Playing on HUD. I'll hack this thing and weaken it. Okay. Hack it good. Yeah. Woo! Lost an arm, didn't you, buddy? Gonna hack your head now. All right. <laughs> Appreciated all the hacking you did, man. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh. Oh, what's this? You brought friends. Oh. Jeez. God, fuck. We're gonna have to hack our way back in there. Oh, jeez. Oh, it changed, all right. Oh, that's useful. Oh, okay, I can change this and move at the same time. Oh, hell, that would've been nice to have known earlier. Oh, God, I am so bad, though. Oh, man, every time I fail a hack, it hurts me really badly. Oh. Trying to control this, like, is rough. Uh... Yes! Got it! Take him down! Oh, that is not taking him down. Oh. Oh, he took over his missiles. Ah! Uh, shit. Boost! Save her! Ew! That is you badass! Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Oh! Am. Yes, you're a badass, but that is gonna leave a mark. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be feeling that in the morning. Oh. I asked data system. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, okay. We gotta put them back online, but we have no volume. Can't hear anything. Interesting. Um, where are we heading, though? Ooh, vocal system. Yeah, we need some sound. Yeah! Voice functionality recovered. External sound input confirmed. Perfect. Oh, we can hear her. Don't worry, I'm coming back, my love. I have to repair him. Hod, get me staunching gel and logic virus vaccines. Then access the- Inadvisable. The subject's vital signs are too poor to attempt field repair. Shut up! Just do what I say! To be... just go. Me, you shut up, too. We... we're soldiers. We take pride in our service. Uh. HO-229 flight unit. 
Command 677 received. Usage rights transferred from 9S to 2B. Requesting acknowledgement. Please. She goes. Incoming enemy fighters detected. Oh. Engaging. Well, they want us, but they can't take us down. We got our droid. Nope, can't have them. Yeah, you yeah, blinky eyed bastards. Well, I guess you're not technically blinking, but yeah! You need some visine or something. Damn red eyed fools. Smoking your weed. Oh, shit. Hi! I did not say you could touch him! No! Die! Ha <laughs> ha! That's all you've got? You think, you think I'm in... Ah, uh, we gotta take out these flying ones first. No! No! Stop your damn moving! Thinking you're... Frickin' ninja-like skills. I have none of that. Shoot. Bad! Oh, God. Ah! Weaknesses found in enemy units. To be... I found a weakness in the target. Hacking in. To provide support. Damn, I this is a boss. Yeah. To be the control on the enemy's upper arm, you should pod should be able to. Take it over. I told you to shut up. Ah, <laughs> oh, you do care. <laughs> oh, that'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> if you don't know that quote, I'm sorry. I'm old. Well. I, I'm getting old. I'm getting there. <laughs> Seize its control system. Affirmative. Infiltrating enemy subunit. Behavior table adjusted. Balance controls overridden. Enemy unit subjugation complete. All right. Has successfully commandeered the enemy unit. Continuing support. We get to kick people's ass with the saw blade arm, if I recall, or maybe two B does. Really makes me wonder though why all these robots to be's memory data package are Alert. up here. Memory data for unit 9S has not yet been updated. That's fine. Upload 2B's data first. Affirmative. Man. Man, this is a good dude. 2B, you need you need to show him some love. You know that, right? You both know how it ends. But still. It might not always be that way. Sounds like me in playing League. <laughs> All right. 
Damn, how the hell are you still moving, man? I'm telling you, he's Tell resilient. That. Bringing the battle to them. Ah, to be. Contact command. Request assistance. No. It doesn't look like that's going to be necessary. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember this. Oh, great. God. This is the first time we lose uh, Ninus's memories right here. To be gets to remember though. This is going to end well. The black box. It's ready. Right. He knew his memory wasn't uploaded, but hers was. Requesting but she didn't. Destruction of enemy hostiles via black box reaction. Request accepted. Doobie, it was an honor to fight with you. Truly. The honor was mine. Is that going to spit us out now? Back on the bunker. Hmm. Looks like it's time to help 2B get herself set up. She's probably waiting in her room now. Well, guys, this is where we're going to leave it. But question is, what do you guys think? Do you think watching this from 9S's perspective is going to shed new light on things that maybe we haven't known? Or just... Leave us with more questions. Well, that's where we're going to leave it. Hopefully you were entertained. Me, I love this game, so it's never a dull moment for me. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. From the secret shadows of dawn There's a darkness to disguise The simple thoughts I recognize can't you see their beauty?